so welcome to our next spelling page. This is the title is Better Than Good. Comparing a simple word. We're going to get rid of that. The word good, too simple, worn out words. So we're going to replace that with some super synonyms, all meaning the word good. Powerful, powerful stuff. The word, first word is the word fantastic. What's the word? Wonderful. Let's go fantastic. Fan tas tick fantastic all right so that's number one whoops there we go okay so let's go fan tas tick fantastic and the base word is fantasy you will look that etymology up you'll take a look at that all right Words that end with ick, ish, or airy are adjectives. All right. The next word is the word outstanding. What's the word? Excellent. I'm not going to use these words in the sentence today because they're so basic. But they are, again, very, very powerful super synonyms that we need to incorporate into our vocabulary. We're putting away those basic worn out words. All right. When you guys come in, you're going to learn about wow. W-O-W, -W, worn out words. We're going to put them to rest. Okay, anyway, getting back to the word outstanding. Let's go. Out, stand, ing. Outstanding. So let's go in three syllables. First syllable, out. Second still syllable, stand. Uh, that's right, I said st stillable for a second. Third syllable, ing. All right, so we have two things to mark up. Let's go. On the line, the ow. And the ng, can we use the word out by itself? You got it. Can we use the word, <coughs> excuse me, standing by itself? All right, when we put it together, we get a brand new word with a whole new definition. Excellent. That is a compound word. Compound word. Okay. The next word is the word terrific. What's the word? Terrific. Yeah, literally. Okay. Terrific. Let's go. Ter, if, ick. And notice it's an ick. So that's an adjective. It describes something. Let's go. Ter, if, ick. Terrific. I'm sorry. No. Get rid of that F. It should go in the third syllable. Ter, ri. Sorry about that. Ter, ri, thick. I think I messed up when I said that. Let's go again. Ter, Terrific. Terrific. So how do we mark this up? Wonderful. Underline the er. Great job. Okay. The next word is the word uh, magnificent. What's the word? You got it. Magnificent. 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 We use k. So let's go. Mag ni fi sent. Magnificent. I see your rule here. Hey, the new kids, you got it. Rule two. Soft C when followed by Y, I, or E. I even heard John Carlos do that too. Great job, JC. Rule two. All right. So getting back to this. Now we're going to get into some base words. That's right, there's 11 and 12. I forgot about that. Okay, so the next word, skip down to the word, uh, I'm sorry, to the number six. It is the word amaze. What's the word? Exactly, a magician loves to amaze his audience. Amaze. A maze. A maze. So that's number six. First syllable, A. Second syllable, maze. A maze. We have three things to mark up. Let's go. Underline the A, the A, and the silent E twice. Draw an arrow back. Why? Wonderful. In this case, the silent E makes the A, because the silent E makes the A say A. Notice I'm trying to avoid using these new synonyms that we're trying to incorporate. Okay, so the A can say A at the end of a syllable. That is rule four. Please write the Roman numeral. All right. Now, when something is able to amaze you, we describe it as amazing. Let's go. A-may-zing. 
zing. Amazing. So let's go. A May Zing. And notice we drop the silent E. Okay? So how do we mark this up? Underline the A, the A, and the N. Whoops. The A can say A at the end of a syllable. That is rule four. However, we drop the silent E when we add ing. That is rule 13. All right? Rule 13. That's an X with three I's in Roman numerals. What do we do with these two words? Bracket or brace. You have the option to do either one. So the next word, skip down to number eight, is the word stupor. What's the word? Yes, stupor. When everybody was watching Mr. Berg's video on the vampire shark or the mimic octopus, you were left in a stupor. You were so shocked and amazed by what you saw. You were speechless. Stupor. Let's go. Stupor. Stupor. That's number eight. Let's go. First syllable, stew. Second syllable, poor. All right, so how do we mark this up? Underline the U and the OR. The U can say U at the end of a syllable. That is rule four. Now, we've used this word before that is related to stupor, all right? And it is the word stupendous, right? So outstanding, so amazing, so fantastic, magnificent, incredible, okay? Stupendous. Stupendous. O-U-S means full of. No, not full of stup stupend, but full of stupor. You'll see when you look up the etymology. So stupendous. Let's go. Stupendous. Stupendous. O-U-S is an, uh, a, a suffix that means full of. So how do we mark this up? Underline the U and the A. Uh. Think about it. Yes, ow, o, u, a. Fourth sound goes in between the O and the U. The U can say U at the end of a syllable. That is rule four. And what do we do with these two words? Bracket or brace. You could do a bracket, which looks like this, if you want. Or you could do a brace, which looks like that. Okay? Okay. So the next word is the word unbelievable. Unbelievable. Okay? Un -b leave a bowl. All right, so there's a lot. We use the old switcheroo, so we'll go slow. On, prefix means not. B, third syllable. Le, I'm sorry, leave a bowl. All right, so we have a prefix, on, meaning not. And the suffix able meaning able to, all right? Not able to believe. That's what it literally means, okay? When something is so mesmerizing. That's unbelievable when I saw the vampire shark. Uh, uh, <coughs> all right? The vampire, jeez, uh, I just forgot what I was saying. Okay. Anyway, let's get back to work, all right? So let's go. Underline the E, the E, the V, and the silent E twice. Job number two. On the line, the A and the silent E twice. Every syllable has to have at least one vowel. Job number four. We'll get more into that, okay? The E can say E. The A can say A at the end of a syllable. That is rule four. Fantastic. The next word is the word incredible. All right? Credible means that it's reliable. It's sort of truthful. It's, you know, something that you could sort of, yeah, that's a credible story. That's believable. But incredible is so mesmerizing. What? This man is seven feet tall. That's incredible. There used to be a TV show called That's Incredible. Incredible. Let's go. Incredible. Incredible. So let's go. Incredible. Now this is kind of interesting because the prefix, the, the base word is credible. Prefix in means not, and ible is just like able, able to not be believed. <laughs> it's a little backwards, but that's the way it is. We have one thing to mark up, the 
all right? We need to underline the silent need twice. Job number four, every syllable has to have at least one vowel. Incredible. So again, the prefix in and on are exactly the same. They mean not. And able and able are exactly the same, meaning able to. But in this case, not able to be believed. Unbelievable, same thing. Not able to believe. All right, number 12, old spelling word from my kids from last year. Excel, which means to be great at something, to excel. Let's go. Ec, and they also have the Excel spreadsheets. X, cell. We use k, s, and the letter S never follows the letter X in English. X, cell. All right, I see a rule here. You got it? Rule two, soft C, when followed by Y, I, or E. And you could hear people groaning already. No, Mr. Modell, no, too many words. That's right. Now, a, a, a word that's better than good that comes from the word excel is the word excellent. Let's go. X, cell, lent. Again, look what we do. Take your fingers. X, cell, lent. Excellent. Let's go. X, cell, lent. And notice we divide the syllable by the double consonant. Again, I see a rule over here. I'm running out of space, so don't put the arrow. I'm just running out of space. That's rule two. You don't have to write soft C. But there's another rule here. Excel has two syllables. That's the base word for excellent. All right. The act. So we have two syllables. We have one vowel in the second syllable. The accent is on. Skip what I just saw. I just got confused. We'll get back to that another time. Okay. For right now, that's just rule two. What do we do with these two words? Bracket or brace. So let's do a little bit of a review. Let's go. Excel, excel, excellent, excellent, incredible, incredible, unbelievable, unbelievable, stupor, stupor, stupendous, stupendous, amaze, amaze, amazing, amazing. All right, let's go. Whoops, magnificent, magnificent. Terrific, 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 sorry. And notice we divide the consonant by the, the, the syllable by the double consonant. Remember that. Outstanding, outstanding, fantastic, fantastic. And these words are better than good.